In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you on how to import audio files from Logic Pro into Ableton Live. There's a variety of methods on how to do this, so I'm going to start off with this one, which needs you to have Logic Pro open. And with, you know, whatever project of your choosing, and we're going to take a segment of one of your tracks create it into an audio file and then open it up and import it in Ableton Live. So with this song I have a repeating bass pattern which repeats every two measures so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cycle the first two measures and I'm gonna solo the bass track and you can do that by selecting you know choose an S in the range window or if needs be, you can also hit the letter S on your keyboard with that particular track chosen. All right, and of course, again, the other method you can choose is to just click on the entire region to record. However, for this case, it's going to do two measures of this MIDI file, but create making an audio file. Once with that chosen, I'm going to choose bounce, and by default your bounces folder or you get directed to your bounces folder in Logic Pro and I'm just going to refer to this particular file as to simply base and with all the parameters to my liking I'm going to go ahead and just tell it to bounce alright and with that done if you're creating a new file or a new song in Ableton Live off of something you just created in Logic Pro, leave Logic Pro open and open up Ableton Live and yes it will create a slave rewire of well Ableton or rather Ableton Live will slave to Logic Pro, which will work out to your benefit because it will automatically sync to the tempo that you used in your song while you're writing in Logic Pro. Now to find the file you know, again, this is just one of the many methods of importing those files while using Logic Pro. I'm going to go to the album folder that the bounces are in. For in this case, it's Laxin at the Cafe for me. The name of the song is 66 Degrees. And I put it in my bounces folder. So I'm going to double click on bounces. Here's my base wave file. And I'm just going to just click and hold, drag it to one of the audio tracks on, on Ableton Live and that is one method of importing audio from Logic Pro into Ableton Live. And again the other method, I'll go back, you can just go directly to your audio files and just click and drag your audio file right into Ableton Live. And if you want to cut, paste, do whatever you want to that particular WAV file or whatever format you choose, double click on it and you'll get your editor at the bottom to where you can adjust the size and warp it any way that you wish. Hope this helps out on how to simply just import audio from Logic Pro into Ableton Live. And if any questions, by all means, send them to me and I'll Get back to you as soon as I can to help you out, make music quicker. Thanks and good luck.